Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to New Bit Workshop. This is the second video I'm making about the Karcher K5 pressure washer. And this time I'm going to be doing the car. Now I've started by cleaning inside, taking uh, these rubber mats out, which I'm going to clean with the pressure washer. I've also done under the bonnet. And what I like to do is get rid of all the dirt and debris using a vacuum cleaner. And that's been done both under the bonnet and inside the car. So I'm now ready to start cleaning the outside. But before I start, let me just warn you about some of the little poo traps of car cleaning with a pressure washer. Now, if you've got parking sensors on your car, and they may be in several places, both at the front and the back, make sure you never use the pressure washer on these areas at all. If necessary, finish those with a cloth. The same goes if you've got external cameras on the car. And remember, your reversing camera may be hidden just above your number plate at the back. And the other precaution to remember always, well, no matter what you're doing with a pressure washer, wear eye protection, just in case. Now, before we turn the pressure washer on, and certainly before we get the car wet, we're going to use some wheel cleaner on the alloy parts of the wheels. Now, this has to go on with the wheels dry in order for it to be completely effective. And you'll leave this for three to five minutes before pressure washing the wheels clean. And the interesting thing about the wheel cleaner is that it turns red when it's active. Before you turn the electricity switch to turn the pressure washer on, it's a good idea to clear the air out through the system with the water connected obviously and turned on, just to get the air out before turning the machine on properly. And you can hear it sort of bubbling through. And then we can get all set up. So we're turned on now and we can clean these wheels. Now this car hasn't been cleaned for over a year. And so some of this grime on the wheels is pretty ingrained. So I'm using this brush again, it's a Karcher brush, just to get the rest of it off. The advantage of this brush, compared to many I've seen, is there's no metal parts here, so you're not going to scratch your alloys at all. Well, I think that's pretty reasonable, to be honest. And now we get to the fun bit. And I'm going to start with the tyres, because the tyres should be done with a slightly reduced pressure. Next, we're going to go up in pressure now, and we're going to rinse off the outside of the car. Now, do make sure the grandchildren haven't left any of the windows open. You've been warned. And notice how I'm starting low and working upwards. And don't forget, do not pressure wash your parking sensors. And whilst we're in high pressure mode, I'm just going to do these mats. They're, they're, they're rubber mats, so water is fine. Of course, the rear mats are quite clean because the grandchildren don't reach the floor yet. And I'm just going to prop these up uh, in the sun so they then dry naturally. Now, if you want that sort of bling effect, try this. This is the ultimate foaming car shampoo. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Now they say that white is the most popular colour for cars at the moment. <laughs> well, that's it. And the idea is to leave the car like this for about six months, drive it around a bit, no one will know who you are. <laughs> 
Now there are two brushes that one can use at this stage. Uh, the one that comes with the kit and this is another one which you can buy separately from Karcher. It's essential that when you're washing the car you put on your shampoo you must brush it off. Don't just spray it off. If you only spray it off you will get left with a layer of film. Better to brush it off. And notice how I'm starting from the top and working downwards. And of course with the extra extension wand you've got I can reach to the far side to get on the inner side of the roof rail on that side. On here just notice when I press the trigger uh, this head rotates and there's a little driving mechanism in there that makes it work. And that's a fairly gentle action and these brushes are really soft. Absolutely super. Well that's it, I've just given it a final rinse. The car is finished and it really does look clean. Now remember, you must use a brush when you're cleaning off the, the suds or if you really have to, use a cloth. But just spraying the suds off on their own does not leave the standard of shine that I've now achieved here. Well that's it, it's the following day, the car has dried off and I'm really pleased with the finish. And this is the first time I've used this pressure washer to do a car. Very impressive. Now a couple of points. First of all, please remember when using a pressure washer, wear safety glasses of some sort or sunglasses, something to protect your eyes, just in case. Remember when you're doing a car to watch out for the parking sensors, front and back. And if you've got external cameras on the car, be careful with those too. Now when I was trying to use the car shampoo in the machine directly by plugging it in there, I couldn't get it to work. I didn't show it on the video. Uh, and it was because of this top. So what I did was I transferred the top from the paving slab a cleaner and put it on here because this has got a very simple to remove cap. Well, since then <laughs> I've looked at this more carefully and dare I admit I had to phone the Karcher helpline and all you do is you pull very hard on that and then that reveals a stopper which is in here which has that special little diaphragm in it which then fits down into the machine so that you can use uh, the car shampoo. Simple as that. And when you finish you just put that stopper back on till it clicks and it's done. When I tried to do it yesterday I couldn't get that off. Must be an age thing I suppose. Anyway, many thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.